given figure it is asked to calculate moment of inertia of the shaded area about x axis so this is x axis so here the first thing you need to observe is the basic geometry is involved in this composite figure so this is a combination of right angle triangle and a semicircle and a complete circle to have this shaded area so we need to subtract circle from a uh, semicircle and right angle triangle so this is nothing but so i can write like this so it is a combination of uh, three geometries first one is right angle triangle so that is the first geometry so this is x axis so here the base of the right angle triangle is so base is 50 plus 50 so base is 100 here height also 100 and so to this uh, right angle triangle you need to add semi circle so plus i am adding semi circle so this is the second geometry so here the diameter is given as 100 this is second geometry from this you need to subtract the third geometry which is nothing but a complete circle so let it be third geometry which is of diameter 50 so let us uh, find the moment of inertia of uh, the shaded area about x axis so for the uh, right angle triangle base is 100 height is also 100 for the semi circle uh, the radius is uh, 50 and for the complete circle the radius is 25 so if you know the relations then it is quite easy for the right angle triangle with base b and height h uh, the moment of inertia about x axis is bh cube divided by 12 so this is for uh, rectangle sorry right angle triangle and for semi circle it is pi r power 4 divided by 8 to differentiate it i am considering with small letter so minus pi into small r power 4 uh, divided by 4 just substituting the values here so base is 100 height is 100 cube divided by 12 plus pi into radius is uh, 50 power 4 divided by 8 minus pi into radius of uh, the circle is uh, 25 power 4 divided by 4 so when you calculate it you will get 8.33 into 10 power 6 plus this is 2.45 into 10 power 6 minus 0.31 into 10 power 6 so that will be equal to 10.47 into 10 power 6 and given that all the units are in terms of millimeters as moment of inertia of area is nothing but product of area and square of the uh, perpendicular distance it is a into y square right so area units are mm square and square of the distance it is also mm square so the units are mm power 4 so this is the area moment of inertia of the shaded area about x axis Thank you for watching hope you like this video for more videos do subscribe my channel thank you all